what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel and you might be noticing something a little bit off about my face i am not going to the gods number one that's because it's freaking disgusting outside it's so overcast and i just don't even know what you mean and then number two because remember in my last story time which we do have an update for today but in my last story time i was saying how i was running out of king tut in the skin frost and how i was so not about the new formula for the supreme frost by jeffree star it comes out so chalky and you can just tell that it's not a second skin whereas with this it just seems like a second skin so I'm super, I just wish that I never bought this, but again, hindsight is a beautiful thing. I've totally hit pan in this little compact here. Look at that. That is all pan. And this bit here, I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming it's like if you have a bit of moisture in the brush, if you haven't like dried your brush down after you've washed it, that happens. I'm not quite sure. I really want to see if I can put like some alcohol in here and like crush it down. You know in those videos where they're like, oh my god, you smashed your compact, why don't you crush it all up, put some alcohol in there and then dab it down. And then all of a sudden it's this new compact. I'm like, if I do that to this little spot here, will it fix it? I don't know. But we kind of don't really need to worry about that. Or ruining the rest of this because I got a package in the mail today and I'm gonna show you what is in it look what came in the mail we have some goodies here and I really want to thank like all of the people who messaged me from my last story time I, I kind of thought people would be focusing more on the story time rather than me actually doing my makeup and the little offhand comments I made about the products I was using but I'm actually so thankful that People were actually like, I don't know, like paying attention to what I was saying because I got so many messages with people with links of where I could get more of the Skin Frost because it is sold out in like the Jeffree Star store, it's sold out at Princess Polly, it's sold out in Black Swallow, all of the places that I thought that you could get it were just sold out. And so I got a message from a lovely person who I don't have my phone here right now, so I can't say her number, but you know exactly who you are. And also I did get a couple of messages from other people, but this was the first one I saw and it was the, like, I saw it and I was like, right, I'm buying it right now. The person who recommended Beautylish, the person who recommended Beautylish, thank you so much. And I also learned a new thing about products because I was kind of like, oh, thanks so much for the link, but is it like a scam place? You know, because I'm so worried about buying things online when I don't usually buy from them. And so I was like, how do I know it's not a scam? And she taught me that it's actually on Jeffree Star's website who the approved resellers are. And so if any time I have a, a problem finding something and I can't get it from the actual website that is the brand i'll just go into their stock lists and see who else sells it so thank you so much to whoever recommended that i purchased from beautylish because i also learned something new thank you <laughs> beautiful packaging right here which is why i haven't opened it i was i was so ready to just open it and see what i got but um it's just such nice packaging so i was like don't do that show it first so you've got the oh cool it's like Oh, so this is actually a Beautylish sticker with, like, in collaboration with Jeffree Star. So it's not just a Jeffree Star pack. It's, like, Beautylish vs. or, like, Times or, like, with Jeffree Star. Melt away the day. I thought this was... Ooh. Okay, interesting. They've sent me... A little sample. I thought this was like a lip balm when I first opened the package. I didn't order this. They just put it in as a sample. But it, it's actually a thing that like dissolves your makeup on contact apparently. And then it rinses and doesn't leave any residue. That's interesting. We might try this in our next Does It Work. So let me know if you want me to try this and see if this actually works in our next Does It Work video. The next Does It Work video I was actually going to do one with a company that I hate which I collabed with in the past and never ended up using the product and so I don't know if it works because we got into like a little fight. So that was going to be my next does it work. So let me know if you want that video or this video first because that could be interesting. Like if it actually works. So now we're getting into the things that I actually did buy. Everything is wrapped so beautifully. And remember in my video when I was like, listen, if you tell me where I can buy this, I will buy several. 
I did buy several skin frosts. So I did get two King Tuts because I know that it works for me. I wear it every single day and I'm terrified that they're going to stop making this formula. So, oh, hello, sir. That hurts my ears. I did buy two in King Tut, but I also bought one in Sarcophagus. And that's what we're here today to try out. So today we are going to be doing King Tut versus Sarcophagus because they look very similar. And I was like, if I run out of King Tut and there's only Sarcophagus left the next time I go to buy it, am I going to want to buy that one? Or am I going to be really disappointed like I was with the Supreme Frost? So... We're going to be versing those today while I give you the update on the story time that I did last time. But let me just show you the next thing that I bought because I did buy something else. The next thing that I bought <clears throat> was actually sold out everywhere that I freaking looked for it. And it is, and listen, I really wanted the deep pink, like how he's got signature pink. And I really wanted in this pink, but this was the only other pink that was available, unfortunately. And I really wanted something a little bit better than the one that I have now like currently let me just show you what it is let me... <laughs> okay listen jeffree star is definitely not skimping on his stickers like they're not cheap stickers because these are really hard to get off like these are legit stickers they strong ba -ba -ba. Ah, hi who is she couldn't tell you hon bam i can now do that in like whenever i want wait does it show the thing it does so i have been around with this hideous ugly ass mirror which is somewhere you saw it in the last story time i'll put a little picture of it here ugly as hell it definitely doesn't feel like a cheap plastic like this is solid um and i was like these are expensive mirrors this looks barbie but it doesn't feel barbie cheap it's she's she's very hard like i'm very hard right now without further ado let's get into the verses so i didn't really have time to wash my brushes so we're just going to be using like the most similar brushes that i can possibly find i don't think these were made to be highlighting brushes but the morphe brushes like the ones that aren't like tight packed they seem to like when you wash them they seem to like out and it's kind of like they, they're a little bit more ruined now not ruined but just like, they still work. They're just, like, a little bit messy. And so, um, they're as close as I can get to the brush I usually use to highlight. On this side, we're going to be doing King Tut. And then on this side, we're going to be doing Sarcophagus. So, let's have a look at what they look like side by side. Okay, so straight off the bat, Sarcophagus kind of has, like, these little, not bubbles, but little bumps in them. Whereas King Tut doesn't. And I've bought King Tut several times and it never has. So, I don't know, maybe that's just, like, a difference in the formula or whatever. Sarcophagus also seems to have, like, bits of it on the outside, like, on the rim of the plastic. Um, and then Sarcophagus is a lighter gold. I kind of feel like on the website, on, like, all the pictures, Sarcophagus seems to be, it looks a little bit darker than it does in real life. And that's why I thought there would be comparable you know what i'm saying and i kind of feel like king tut here looks like it's a lot darker than all the other king tuts that i've ever bought like in my life and so i'm like did is this like real or like did they change the color what's the go i'm so confused let me open the other king tut that i have so i don't know if they've changed like these are meant to be the exact same shade i don't know if they've changed it at all or if if you just rub the first layer off and it looks like this, like this color. I don't know. I'm slightly worried, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to be doing King Tut on this side. And then we're going to be doing Sarcophagus on this side. I'm going to be doing Sarcophagus with this messed up Morphe brush. And then I'm going to be doing um, King Tut with this Jessup brush. Oh, why did I just go ahead and do the nose bit with King Tut? Let me know when you know. So she's still blinding, so there's really nothing to worry about here. <laughs> nothing to worry about, it's still the same formula. It's just probably when you when you wipe off that first layer, it looks not as dark. I feel like you have to like wipe more off. Maybe it's just maybe I'm just not remembering how hard it was to get pigment off an, a brand new King Tut. But it feels like I'm really trying to get stuff off the pan for it to, like, really 
be as blinding as what it usually is and it also might be the weather because it's quite cold like it is very cold so maybe it's just like not not heated up enough because we all know that i really overdo it with the highlight look at that see this is why i never want to go with any other highlight because can you just like just appreciate i just need you to look at that she's good who is she? who who is she oh i'm i'm definitely getting sick and now we're gonna go in with sarcophagus but on this side Okay, so, like, this one has a lot more payoff, um, straight off the bat. I'm like, excuse me. And maybe it's because it's a lighter colour that I'm noticing it more. But, oh my goodness, this is like, this is what I imagined Ice Queen to look like. Like, this is a lot. I'm going to need to buff this out. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I, I, yeah, okay, so I think this is definitely the colour... So this is definitely more of a goldy kind of look. You can't you can't see it properly because it's the light that it's reflecting is a blue light because it's so out like overcast outside. But from what I can see, IRL sarcophagus is white. It's a whitey blue. I really am trying to like diffuse that, but I don't think like no matter how much I diffuse it, it's it's gonna look like a blue color whereas this is more of a like i think it's because king tut is closer to my own skin tone that it just looks I, I just love it but this is i'm not mad at this like absolutely not mad at this let's go i hate the face that i have to do for, for like up here but girl <laughs> Like, I literally only did one swipe, and look, I've done here, had to, like, get rid of some of the product that came up here, did here, and did my, what is this? I don't even have a Cupid's bow anymore. Freaking fillers destroyed that for me. Oh, wow, good friend. I haven't even gotten even, like, slightly into the story time. I'm just so shook. What do you mean? Oh, actually... Look, I'm actually like, do I maybe like sarcophagus more than I like King Tut? This skin frost is way better than Supreme Frost. Don't ever at me about it because I will fight you. I honestly feel like that's what brings a normal, regular, regular face to like, wow, she's glam. Um, so we're just going to go in with a little pointed flat baby girl. So we're going in with a little pointed flat little darling here from Morphe. And I'm just going to go in with sarcophagus because... I like it. I just touched it ever so gently. So let's hope. Oh my goodness. No, listen. It's the formula. It's the form. The formula is different. Look at that. Whereas with King Tut, I was like scraping it kind of. Maybe the King Tuts are old and this is new. That's probably what it is because you know what? People probably didn't know about beautylish having more king tut and when they sold out on the jeffree star website they you know just stopped buying it and you know what i reckon's happened they've had this king tut left over for a little bit and that's why it's so hard to get product off of that particular shape because it's been sitting there for a while and sarcophagus obviously is a newer shade and so i'm thinking that this is a newer compact and that's why it's fresher and it's so easy to get the pigment off the compact onto the brush whereas that king tide i think is maybe just like sat there for a little bit but i'm not completely mad about it all right let's get into the freaking story time let's get into the beat all right so the last time we left actually noah if you haven't seen my last story time, pause the video, the link is up here, go click that so you understand what this guy actually did, because I'm not going to go through it again. So if you know, you know, and if you don't know, 
go no. I can't show you the text messages, first of all, because that would be rude, and second of all, because he didn't actually send them in messages, he sent them in videos, um, which isn't completely uncommon for us because we we do that and i do feel like i like someone way more when i can video chat them and it's not through text because i get very anxious and i don't always want to meet up with a person especially if i haven't like you know if i don't know them that well and so that's why i really appreciate when a guy sends videos and i can send videos back or we facetime i just never know how to go about it and the other day when abby was saying how she like video chats or calls guy that she's seeing i'm like how do I initi initiate that without sounding like a weirdo? Literally, while I was filming that story time, he was sending me messages and he was saying, I, I'll take you out to dinner, I'll take you out to um, lunch, I'll buy you like food, I'll take you to Eat Street, like let me explain. And that's what was happening when I was telling you guys what he had done. And I was, I had half a mind about it because he said he was gonna explain and I wanted to know the reason as to why he did what he did because I was so confused, I was so hurt, so upset. I continued filming and didn't reply and then he started unsending messages and this is like a reoccurring problem with this particular person. I said, hey, to be honest, my spirit dropped a little bit after that night. I just filmed a story time on it. Obviously, I didn't say your name, but I've never felt so ashamed to live where I live and have what I have. I really felt so self-conscious about where I was at in life, and I want to understand why you acted the way you did, but I don't think that lunch or eat street is something that could even make up for how I felt that night. As much as I really want to go and experience eat streets, and I love going out to get food and stuff like that, it doesn't feel like it means anything, especially when you're trying to use that to make up for something horrible that you've done. It means less. Buying me food is not enough to make up for what you did and, and I don't think that there's much of anything that you can do to make up for how you made me feel. And then he sent me literally like, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it's literally like you scroll <laughs> and it's video, 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 like literally so many. And in these videos, he explained two things. He explained why he made me feel like basically like a poverty-stricken, lower-class, disgusting human being. The way he explained it to me was also kind of offensive because he explained it in a way of being like, I've just grown up um, making sure that everything's in order and everything's clean and everything's like, there's no mess anywhere. And when I hear that as like an explanation for how you made me feel, I'm like, so you're essentially saying that you were brought up right and the way that you walked into my house was wrong and that's why you treated me the way that you treated me. And secondly, my house was clean. Like Abby, come, Abby came into my house like when I explained everything and she was like, um, I don't understand, like your house is literally like, it's clean. And so, two things like you you the way you said it was just the way he said it was just offensive and then also wrong because my house is clean <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i i myself get myself into so much trouble with housemates like continuously because i am a clean freak and so that's why i'm like well do i need to be more of a clean freak or is this guy just freaking tripping because I don't understand so that's how we he that's how he decided to like explain his behavior and i'm like wow, had you not have explained it, you would have been left off on a, on a nicer note. You know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of made it worse by explaining it in that way. I need some water, I'm dehydrated. I'm dead set sick, I think. Sick of your shit. Um, okay, yeah, and then so the second thing that he had explained, which he didn't even need to explain because I wasn't even, like, I wasn't even questioning his commitment, his, like anything like I, that I wasn't even that wasn't even in my mind like I wasn't even and also bear in mind that I am so busy right now like I literally have been like I can't even I, I, I just can't even begin to explain like I'm writing a book right now I've just finished up a, a proposal for my book and um, the deadline for that is tomorrow and I'm 3,000 words over the limit so I am myself like, that doesn't even include, like, all of my uni psychology, like, tutoring, YouTube, Instagram, 
sponsorships, my own personal gym life. I've got so freaking much going on that I'm like, I, I'm not asking for a boyfriend. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to make content. And he was my fake boyfriend for that video. And so he didn't even need to explain this next part because I never once asked for a boyfriend, or for a real boyfriend. I did ask him to pretend to be my boyfriend on YouTube. But that was more of like a fun video thing. And, and everything after that, like, yes, I will admit I did like him. But I never, ever, 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 ever asked him to be my boyfriend and so the next thing that he explains is that he is still seeing his ex and i'm like i'm like excuse me sir and he's like look he basically painted her out to be like this psycho and i'm like i'm sorry that that happened to you but there's that's absolutely no excuse for you to treat other people poorly and then he said that she's been trying to like bring him back into her web and that while he's been like, you know, organizing to meet up with me and talking to me that he's been going back to her. And I'm like, okay, like, I don't know what to say. He was like, I didn't expect you to be so funny, so confident, so driven. And he was like, I really started to like you. But all the while my ex was like, playing mind games and stuff like that. He was like, you know, like, I really want to spend more time with you. Like, I want to know you more and I want to be around you more. And I was just like, stop. I was like, I, like, I was like, I'm sorry that that's happening with you. But it's kind of like, if I was all of these great things and if it really was meant to be like a, a thing, then it would have just happened and it would have happened without you needing to explain like you know it would have happened without you even feeling the need to be brought back into her mind games you know if it's meant to be abby don't at me like this is actually one of the things i do believe in terms of relationships if it's meant to be it will be and if it was meant to be you wouldn't have you wouldn't have gone back into her web you know what i'm saying like you can say all these amazing brilliant things about me and then say like hey look like i want to spend more time with you like i want to continue but all of the actions to this point have shown that, bro, it's probably not meant to be, you know, like, and so, yeah, I said, I, I sent back another video, well, another video, I sent back a video after he sent, like, I'm not even kidding, it was probably, like, somewhere around 50 videos, and so I replied, and I said, I'm really sorry that that's happening to you, like, that's shit, but it does not excuse anything and i was like after the way you've behaved i can't see me moving forward in terms of a relationship with you and i said that um like i'm totally fine to like maybe be your friend but i don't think that i can see myself in a relationship with you after this has all happened and guess freaking what bitch guess what Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm guessing all of you guys can guess what he did after I said that I wasn't interested in a relationship with him. He left me on red! He left me on scene. And I'm like, are you, like, you're, like, wait. You're joking. You're just like this absolute mother fella. And so I was just like, whatever. That's fine. And so for the rest of that afternoon, because I had just finished up taking photos for a collab, and that's here. And I went home after that. Um, because he was sending me all of this stuff like while I was doing photos for that so keep in mind while I was taking these photos I was just like going through all this drama this guy just keeps rocking my energy like keeps like messing with my peace and I'm like and I will admit that after that I did have a little bit of a mental breakdown um, and then for the day after that I kind of just looked around at my house and I was just so like I just kept questioning like is this enough is this normal and I was just like I do not want to invite any guy over I don't want to date I don't want to do this anymore this is so like soul shattering and I just didn't want to do it anymore and so for like two days after that conversation I was just beat, hey. Like, I was, like, I felt like I had been stripped away at its core. And keep in mind that I am writing my book of, like, my life story and everything that's happened to me up until this point. And so I was already pretty vulnerable. So from after those two days, he's watching every single one of my stories. And then it was, like, not last night, 
the night before that that he like I got a notification on my phone and we all know he loves to unsend a message that's his favorite thing to do send things unsend them so that's what had happened I got a notification on my phone saying that Derek sent me something on Instagram and then I looked at it and because it, it wasn't a text thing it was like either a video or a photo I ignored it and I was like I'll look at that later if it was text, I would have a glimpse at what the general gist of, of it was, and then I'd decide if I want to read it or not, open it or not, or leave it or not. Um, that's just kind of what I do with all my notifications. It's probably not the best thing to do, I don't know. And so I just left it. I was like, I'll just, I'll deal with that later. And so when I went to deal with it later, it disappeared. It said, this message has been unsent by the sender. And I was like... I, I, th this is something that actually annoys me because whenever I send something, whenever, whenever I send someone a message, I make sure that I have read it through, I've thought it through, and I send the message. I never unsend messages because I know exactly what I want to say, and I've thought about it. And he obviously didn't think about it, or he got cocky, he got the balls to send something, and then he realized, wait, no, well, I take it back, whatever. So I'm just like, I f at this point, I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm like, if you want to send something, send it and stick with it. I, I'm just angry at this point and I sent him a message saying, stop unsending messages, just say what you want to say, exclamation point. <laughs> and then he was like, I didn't send anything. And I'm like, it tells me when you send me something. It Like my no the iPhone, thank you iPhone for leaving the notifications up. But it tells me when he sends something to me and then when you unsend it. And then I was like, whatever. And then he was like, I thought it was best to leave you and your peace alone. Wow, imagine if you did that from the outset. We would not be here. I was like, no, you literally stopped replying when I said I didn't want to date you after that. And then he was like, I'll send you a message later on, okay? There's a bit on today. And I was like, you don't need to. And he didn't. And so that is where we have left off with the Derek situation without any of the unsending messages and whatever he's doing with his ex-girlfriend. Like, I don't even care about that stuff. Respect people. That him having strict parents growing up has nothing to do with me. The cool thing about being a millennial and a freaking adult is that you know how to act and you know how to unlearn toxic behaviors from your parents. Also, I didn't get raised by anyone. I raised myself. I know for a fact that it is like, it's really hard to unlearn toxic behaviors. However, I try and make sure that my toxic behaviors don't impact other people. The way he treated me that night about my house and what I have and, and my dogs and just me, his parents didn't tell him to do that just then. You have a moral compass and you know what's right and what's wrong. And you can't blame that on your parents. If you've got shitty behaviors, you probably know about them by now and you need to be working on them. And those toxic behaviors should not be impacting other people. Thank you so much to all the people who contacted me saying, hey, I heard you were looking for this and here's a link for the thing. That is like the best part about YouTube is that it's like a community. And also it was only like two days that I was like, oh, I'm so close to 1000 subscribers. And now I've almost got 1200 subscribers. That's like 100 subscribers per day. I love that. Anyways, oh, also, if anybody lives in Brisbane and wants to do a collaboration, um, and I'm not talking about just like a questions and answer video, like I want to do something funny, I've got so many ideas, and I want to collab, I don't care if you're like huge, I mean, that would be really cool, um, or if you are small, or if you're just starting out, like I would love to collaborate with any sort of Brisbane influencer or any sort of Brisbane YouTuber to do something and make something really funny or really amazing. So hit me up in Instagram DMs. My socials are below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Give you girl a subscribe. I do videos like this twice a week and then I do a true crime Sunday every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Be kind and treat people nicely and I will see you in the next one. Hey you guys, so it's just Ellie in my car here realizing that I'm just about to edit the video that you've currently just watched. I just want to say thank you to, I've just had so many like nice messages about like, you know, just you guys watch me and you notice my house and like what my content does for you and it's like this stuff makes shit like good. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I didn't, I, I'm obviously not where I am, where I was filming just before when you just saw me, but I'm in my car now. And I just thought that I wanted to like attach something to the video just so like a little thank you to you guys, because like, even if I don't get to respond to all of the messages that I get in my Instagram, like I do read them. Um, and sometimes I don't know how to respond, which is probably why you don't get a reply because I really have I, not an issue, but like, I, sorry, I'm just trying to fix the petrol smell in my car. And I bought some Glen 20 and I seriously, I'm getting head spins, but anyway, I really do appreciate it. Um, and I don't, I, I think I need to work on replying but I don't know how because I don't know how to deal with, like, nice stuff. Like, send me some mean stuff. I know how to reply to that. But I just, like, sh like clam up when people are, like, overwhelmingly nice to me. I'm like, oh, Lord. 